So what does that mean? That means Tuka Rask was absolutely dominant in this one. He totally was. He, do he was. Tuka Rask, this entire series was great. And I'm telling you, if any of you Bees fans around the world and they're in the Causeway in Boston, you better be bound to Tuka Rask. He stood in there. He was able to withstand that onslaught from the Columbus Blue Jackets, especially facing 17 shots in the second period. He was calm. He was composed. He played within his rhythm, standing up and making saves, doing a great job of controlling and or directing his rebounds. That was a sublime performance by Tuka Rask. You take a look at where he ranks there among the greats in that organization, the great Jerry Cheevers, and Tim Thomas was great for them as well. And Tuka was absolutely sensational in this one. He's been great all series long. Both goalies were great all series long, but as the series went deeper, Tuka continued to climb the ladder. He was absolutely sensational, Casey. He was, and your goalie needs to be your best player. Your goalie gives the players confidence to go down and put the puck in the back of the net. And Bobrovsky was that great for the Columbus Blue Jackets, and they couldn't find the back of the net. But I thought Tuka Rask was unbelievable the entire series, and to see him smiling at the end there shows how, how well he did play, and he knows he played that well. And he's going to have to continue to be that good going into the next round. And, no Kendall, I did mention also, what, quite a few times in the highlight, uh, you're going to see a few of these. <laughs> Off the post, uh, goal taken back. There was there were plenty of opportunities, um, and there was a little bit of luck on Boston's side of this one. Yeah, I guess that's what you call puck luck, but yeah. puck luck comes from hard work. I'm a firm believer of that. So the Bruins did a good job clearing out pucks, get, letting Tuka see the pucks that were coming to him. Um, but at the end of the day, yes, he, he did have a best friend down there, three of them. <laughs> no question. Sometimes that's a part of the goalie equipment. When it works for you, it's a part of the goalie equipment. But uh, I, I'd say that the Jackets, honestly, they, they really played exceptionally well, too. There's a lot to be taken away from this if you're the Col Columbus Blue Jackets. I said all season long I felt like they were a contender. I said that they were on the radar. I've talked to you know their general manager, Jarmo Kekalainen, John Davidson, their president, John Tortorella, and different players in the room. This team has made major strides, and that's exactly why their fans were serenading them with cheers towards the end of the game. It's a tough result right now, but they've gotten deeper than they ever have in their franchise history. This was a good run for them. And their first round was incredible. It was amazing. You can say that was Tampa amazing. was slumping, whatever. Yeah. You still have to beat them four times like that. Right. That was impressive. No no doubt about it. Hey, listen, you they've earned everything they've gotten. I remember being at the Garden when they punched their ticket to the Stanley Cup playoffs. Huge game by Bobrovsky that game. Panarin with the, with the game-winning goal in the shootout. And just the way that team came together. Nick Foligno, their captain, was just talking about it. He told me, we see our young guys have to take steps. They took major steps in the Stanley Cup playoff run. They did take major steps, and I think this is another huge step, is tasting defeat. Mm -hmm. Get it going off this offseason and feel it, remembering that feeling because that's only going to drive them to want to get back there and get better. No doubt. So what do you think Columbus does this summer? A lot of decisions to be made yeah. throughout that organization this summer, but here's one great thing for them. They've put themselves in a great position. They have some really good young players. They've got some excellent superstars. Uh, they have some great players that are just coming into their own, some good prospects. So uh, one thing I've said, Yarmo and JD have done a nice job building this team. I feel like there's guys that are on the cusp of taking it to the next level.